Hi guys, welcome back to another Craft Scraps takeover of Auntie Tay's channel. I am Lauren from the Craft Scraps, and today we are going to do some fun stuff with cardstock. I love working with cardstock. It is so fun to cut. It's easy to cut most of the time. Um, and I just really enjoy working with it. You can make party props, you can make cards, you can make banners, you can do so many fun things um, with cardstock. So today what I'm gonna be doing is making a layered cardstock banner. And I will give the disclosure now that I'm not stringing the banner. Um, I'll show you how to string it. I'm not stringing mine because the banner I'm using is actually, or that I'm making, is actually for my sister-in-law's 4th of July party. And I have no idea how she's gonna wanna hang it. So I'm not actually stringing it, but I'm showing you the design space steps. I'm showing you um, how to cut it, how to layer it, how to size everything in design space. Um, and then there's two ways that you can string it and I show you your different options at the end. So I hope you guys are okay with that and I hope you'll still give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm using, as always, the Auntie Tay SG, S, the SVG files um, that you can get for free if you are a member. Um, I believe she has the two tiers. The um, business membership is like the top tier. Um, and then she has a normal membership. Um, where, but both you get SVGs for free. You get discounts. You get all that fun stuff. Um, if you are interested in just shopping, I do have a code with her. It's the Craft Scraps all lowercase. Please feel free to use it, um, but she has lots of other crafters, so you can use their codes too. Either way, I'm good with it, um, as long as you're crafting. So I think that's it. All you're gonna need today is cardstock of your choice. I'm using 65 pound like primary color cardstock from Michaels. Um, and that's about it, so let's get started. All right, so to start our cute banner, I'm gonna go over here and make a new project. I love working with cardstock. It's one of my favorite things. I can really get super immersed into it. So for our banner, I'm going to be uploading a image that I got from Auntie Tay's um, website. So I'm going to come over here to upload image, I'm going to click browse, and then I'm going to come over here to downloads, and it's right here, this American Popsicle, so cute. Um, where I live in Huntington Beach, California, the 4th of July is like the biggest freaking holiday, bigger than Christmas, bigger than anything. Not really bigger than Christmas, but you know what I mean. It is a big freaking deal. People love the fourth year, and people do fireworks, and it's super fun. So this is the image I'm going to use. I'm going to click it so you can tell it's highlighted, and it's ready to go down here. And I'm going to insert this image to my mat. So... What I want to do first is I want to um, size this. So I don't know what the typical size for a banner is, but I'm looking at my mat right now, which is kind of like my, you know, ruler. And I think six inches, six, the six by three should be pretty good. Let's see what six by seven by four. That's, eh, that might be good too. We'll, we'll play around with it. So for this, I want to make sure that this stick is kind of um, touching the rest, the rest of the um, image. So I'm going to come over here to ungroup. So now I can take this and I can make sure that it is touching the image. And also you can see these are all different layers. So for our banner, we're going to want to make one kind of um, 
foundational piece that all of these layers can live on, so to speak. So to do that, what I first want to do is I want to duplicate this so I don't have to re um, download it to my mat and I'll show you why in a second. So now I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to click weld. So now you can see that this is one image, you know, one kind of back backdrop, foundational piece, whatever you want to call it, that we can now add these layers to. I want this to be actually cut out of a white piece. Uh, is that white? It looks kind of gray. White. There we go. I'm going to have it um, be cut out of this white. And so now I can just move this to the, send this to the back. And so now I can just add this layer back on top. And to make my life even easier, I'm going to actually see this little like highlight right here. I'm actually going to slice this out of this red piece. So all you need to do to do that, I'll move this over so you can kind of see, is select both the red piece and that highlight and you can see our slice button just lit up there so just to show you again right now slice is not lit up highlight over now it's lit up so now we can slice this little highlight out of the um, red and the reason why is because now I can just glue this on top once once I cut everything out I can glue this on top and I don't have to worry about gluing you know a bunch of these little white highlights and we can just use this white foundational piece as our white part so we don't need to worry about this over here so I'm just gonna do that just so you can see what this will look like and voila so this is these are gonna be all of our layers Oops, I just got rid of that so we're gonna cut out this kind of um, cream layer, this blue and red and white. So that will be our banner pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I want to cut out, um, I'm going to now add letters to these. So um, I think what I want to do is first figure out what I want to write and then I will glue all, uh, then I'll duplicate, make more of these here. So I'm going to make my text box. And I think I want a big, bold font that you can see. So I think I'm just going to use this impact font. And it's going to say, Happy Fourth. Um, should I do happy 4th of July or is that going to be too much? I think, let's think, or, 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 make it even easier, do 4th of July. There we go. That, that'll be cute. And I think I'm going to do this in a, like, gold glitter if I have it handy. I have like a bronze glitter that should work okay. So now that we have our text, we can start to kind of size this and see what it'll look like. So I am going to keep all of these together before I ungroup them um, because I want to size these all as one so I don't have them being all you know different sizes this is just my kind of it's not even like a tr trick really it's just make it easier on yourself so you don't have to go back and size each letter individually but I think that size looks pretty good um, so if you can just imagine just the H on there I think that's pretty good size. So 
It'll, they'll be about three inches, the letters. Okay, so now I'm just going to, and I think I'm going to do this in like a gold color, so I'll change the color. That'll be super cute. Or maybe I'll just do it in a yellow. Because, what do you, or black. Black just seems too dark for summer, I feel like. Yellow is kind of cute. I have a bunch of yellow. Um, I think I like the yellow, actually. Even though it's kind of different, I think I like the yellow. Okay, so now what I want to do is, so we have how many letters here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then do you guys think I should put this? Let's see. Now I'm gonna ungroup this now that I have them all sized, and I kind of talked to myself a little bit as I'm doing this, so <laughs> sorry if that's super annoying <laughs> to anybody. Um, I want to see what these will look. Let's see if I should do it. Do the T H with the. F yeah, I think that looks good. Oh my god, these are so cute. These little popsicles. Okay. So now that we have our letters, we know how many. Twelve. Okay, so twelve. So we're going to make twelve popsicles. I obviously forgot how many I counted to the first time. So now all we have to do is I'm going to highlight this whole popsicle. So it's going to select all of our layers, and I'm just going to hit duplicate. So I'm just going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now I have twelve popsicles. I'll have 12 red layers, 12 blue layers, and 12 cream layers, and then this will all cut out on the yellow mat. Alright, so now we can go to make it. Let's see how many mats we have here. Okay, so I do have to move some of these. Um, popsicles because the white cardstock I have is only eight and a half by eleven. So I'm going to make a new mat for my popsicles. So with one, let's see. Oh, these will all fit. Oh, perfect. So I really only needed one. And then we see up here, these are all of our cream little um, sticks. Here we have all of our letters, and it's okay that they're out of order because we are just going to um, glue them onto the individual popsicles. We have our blue layer, our red layer, and then our one lone popsicle foundational piece little guy here. So now we can hit continue. And um, I get the question a lot, you know, can I do this on my Air? Do I have to have a maker? You could absolutely do this on an Air. My Air is just kind of like tucked into a corner and it's blocked by a bunch of stuff. My maker is just easier to use. So I'm going to click my maker. And so for this, I'm going to use the medium cardstock. Um, setting because the cardstock I'm using is it's not super thick but it's like a medium medium thickness so I'm gonna click medium cardstock my tools are all set so now I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see what I'm gonna do alright so we're gonna start with our popsicles so this is the cardstock I'm using I think this is 
65 pound cardstock, so not super thick, but it's not, you know, gonna be too flimsy. So I'm putting mine this way on my mat just because that's how I have my, um, that is how it is oriented in my design space. So I'm just gonna make sure this is stuck down. And I'm gonna load my mat, and we know it's ready to load when this is blinking. So we'll just click that, and then once our Cricut light starts blinking, we can start to cut. <coughs> So we know this is ready to unload because this is blinking, so we just click that to unload. And so now I'm just going to peel these off my mat and I'm going to, how I like to do it is I kind of like to bend the mat a little bit because it I don't want these to curl too much but just be careful you don't want to you don't want to um you know snap your mat so this is about the size that these will be super cute and having the SVGs like ready to go like pre-made I know it's it's also fun to make up your own if you're talented like that but sometimes if you're just trying to work you know trying to make a project um having the SVGs already made ready to go is so nice so now I'm just gonna keep doing these popsicle layers and then we'll switch over to our next layer All right, so now we are gonna cut out the sticks and so I'm gonna use this kind of like cream beige color and I'm doing it with the texture side up um, just so it gives it like a little bit of contrast. So load our mat. So now our cricket light is blinking so we can cut. All right, so these are all the little stick pieces that are gonna go on the bottom of our popsicles. Pop these out. And I'm using the same um, setting on all of these. So it's just that medium cardstock. I'm not changing my cut settings or anything. That's the nice thing with working with one medium is you don't need to change your settings a gazillion times. All right, so now we're gonna cut out our letter. So I'm gonna do it out of this yellow. And again, it's the same like 65 pound cardstock. I got like a primary color 
like variety pack at um, Michael's. So it comes in super handy. So just gonna load our mat. And cut. So we'll unload our mat, and so I'm just going to take off all these letters. I think the yellow was a good choice. I think it'll it'll be cute. I like all the primary colors right now. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna do this red. This is gonna be the last <laughs> layer. I'm just gonna put it on my mat. All right, load our mat. And cut. All right, so now we are done cutting. So I'm just gonna take this layer off. And so now just take these little, and so we have that nice little slice there. All right, so now we'll cut out our blue layer. This is from the same pack that I got the yellow from. All right, so now we're gonna do our blue layer. And cut. All right, so now we'll just pop out these little guys. All right, so we are gonna start putting this together. So I'm gonna use this uh, white foundation piece and just start gluing the layers on. So start with the red layer and I'm just using a regular glue stick, nothing fancy. So I'm just gonna glue that there and then take my blue piece and glue the blue layer 
and then take the little the stick and we'll glue that down here. How cute is that? So cute. So now we can put on our letters. So we'll do our four. All right, how cute is that? I love the colors, I think it looks really good. So now I'm just basically gonna repeat that entire process with all of the rest of our layers here. Oh, I forgot the stick for this one. All right, so we have all of our letters <clears throat> and our little popsicles done. So now the only thing left to do is to string this. So you could do that a couple of different ways. I usually use um, this jute twine. So um, you can either punch a hole through like the top of these. And I found that this little hole puncher works well for that. Um, it's just small enough that this can get through but it's it um is also small enough so that the you know popsicle isn't like swinging all over the place um or a little bit of an easier way to do this is to um hot glue these each like so i'm not gonna string mine just yet um, but you can kind of get the idea here. You can just hot glue the back of those super easy. Um, and yeah, so I hope that this was helpful for you. I think these turned out so cute. Remember I got this SVG, the, the popsicle image from Auntie Tay. It's all free if you are a member and I think that's it. So happy crafting and happy fourth.